Hey, what is happening, guys? It's uh, Mr. Coolmast. Um, no intro this time, uh, as this is just some basic commentary. Uh, no. No, um, you know, just me talking. This is going to be something I'm going to do relatively frequently as I play Halo on the Xbox One relatively frequently. Um, I do just some Halo commentary. Um, so on this time, the topic of discussion will be the state of the Master Chief Collection, or in this case, the rough launch, as the state of the Master Chief Collection has been, it's improved. I, I, I get matches with at least maximum 30 seconds, sometimes 10, 20. Um, I think I had one in like a minute, but that was like right before the patch came out. But the recent patch has really made it work. But the rough launch of the Master Chief Collection has been a topic of discussion quite a bit in um, gaming forums, and I wanted to touch base on my opinion of it. Well, I got it back in November when I wound up getting my Xbox One. Uh, I did a video called My First Few Days of the Xbox One, if you remember that. Um, and, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, I, enjoyed this, I enjoyed Halo 2 Anniversary, though. But the, the problem was is the multiplayer didn't work all that well. I mean, I was able to get matches, but it took up like to three minutes to find them. I know this... I don't know some people couldn't find matches for, like... The first three or so patches, they they just couldn't find matches, and it was absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, that is ridiculous. But I was always able to find matches fine. So I was I was just thinking maybe it's their NAT settings, whatever. But I mean, Master Chief Collection single player portion was great. But once you beat all the games, I mean, the meat of Halo, at least for me, has always been the multiplayer. Because I've always liked the multiplayer. I I, I was never really good at Halo One multiplayer. Um. And I, I was good at Halo 3. I wasn't all that great at Halo 2, but I was good at Halo 3. So I was excited to play Halo 3 on the Xbox One at 1080p, 60fps. Play, you know, being able to play also Halo 1 and 2, because I played Halo 2 on the Xbox, the original Xbox. But the multiplayer went down. Um, God, how long has it been now? I think 2010? 2009-ish? Uh, the multiplayer went down. And it was it was a shame, because, you know... I had just started getting into it, kind of, um, again, since uh, I had my 360 backwards compatibility. I mean, I wasn't all that great at it, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I was much better at Halo 3, um, but with the Master Chief Collection's release, I've been getting better at Halo 2 here and there. Uh, but I mostly play the Halo 3 playlist and the Big Team Battle playlist, which periodically does have Halo 2 or Halo 2 Anniversary pop up. So when... Uh, Master Chief Collection was announced, I was excited, but at the time, both me and my friends were going to get a PS4, but at the, towards the end of last year, 2014, we decided to get an Xbox One. I was the first of all of us to get it, I traded in a bunch of games, got the entire system, plus GTA V and uh, Master Chief, Chief Collection for $1.80, and it, it was good, I was just waiting for my friends, because... Um, if you guys know Thunderbolt Jr. slash Cody from the many game clips of Grand Theft Auto, he was supposed to get it that month too, but he didn't get it until around Christmas time. Uh, one of my other friends wound up getting it in, I, I I would say, at the end of November, early December, and, you know, we were talking about how we probably aren't going to see him for a long time since he doesn't exactly have a lot of funds to get this type of stuff. And, you know, he finally got it for Christmas. That was great. Um, and since then, he's done a few videos with me on there. Um, you know, that's Those are all on my channel, actually. But, uh, so, you know, we all got an Xbox One, and so I got Master Chief Collection with it, and I was excited myself, because I'm a big Halo fan. So I, I got it, and I played through Halo 2 Anniversary, I enjoyed it, and then I went out to the multiplayer, and I found that I couldn't find any matches for some time. But, I mean, for me, the launch wasn't all that bad. It, I mean, by the time I got through all four single-player campaigns, th there were at least a few patches out. That helped improve it. Um, I mean, it wasn't too bad, uh, but as it as it kind of straggled on, people still weren't able to find matches, and you know it was diminishing the game. I do feel the one sad thing is, is, is some reviewers gave it bad reviews because of its rough multiplayer launch, which is understandable. But uh, I look at it from the perspective of you know, there's four games, four well-made games with somewhat the exception of Halo 4, I didn't like it as much as I liked Halo 3. Um, there's four games on one disc, and you could go from playing Halo CE to playing Halo 2, 
to playing Halo 3 to playing Halo 4. At will. Because of the voting menu. It pops up many games depending on your playlist. So there's this single game playlist where it's just Halo 3 or just Halo 2. Or 1 or 4. But it's great because you can just easily play every single Halo. And it was, it was like, okay, you should be expecting, um, you know, glitches and hitches because of this. I mean, it's, it's four games on one disc. And well, that happened. Um, but I, I liked Master Chief Collection for what it was. But I'm disappointed in 343 that it took them up until literally late February to actually fix this. I, I think that's an absolutely ridiculous amount of time that it took them to fix it. Because this game came out in November, it took him to February to fix it, and I, 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 I'm not even sure if it's fully fixed yet. I mean, I'm getting matches quick, but I, I, I don't know. Some people aren't, but I mean, I cannot. It took a ridiculous amount of time for this game to get fixed, which I feel is a bad thing. I feel three fourths th that that worries me for Halo Five, because Halo Five, the beta, when it happened back in uh, December uh, through January, I believe. Uh, I had network problems with that. I never, like, I was able to get matches for Master Chief Collection, but I had problems getting matches for Halo 5. Like, I'm not even joking. I I, I was able to get matches, and, and you couldn't back out when you were once in the lobby, so if somebody quit, you could be waiting there for 15 minutes on Halo 5. You usually you just had to go to party and, like, hit leave multiplayer, and you get sent back to the main menu. But it was, like, Halo 5, it was a beta, at least for me, it took me time to get matches, and it was ridiculous. Master Chief Collection, at least, was working partially for me, but Halo 5's beta was iffy. I was able to get matches quicker than Master Chief Collection at times, but other, than, other times it took longer than Master Chief Collection, at least in my experience and for me. So this worries me about Halo 5, if, is if Halo 5 comes out and it, it has a lot of bugs, it's going to take them at least four to five months to fix it. And I'm starting to at least think 343 is somewhat incompetent with this the Halo brand. It, it just worries me that um, they're gonna they're gonna destroy Halo because they can't get the multiplayer working. And the big thing about Halo has always been the multiplayer. And if the multiplayer is always broken and people can't play it, then yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I, I mean, the single player could be flawless and working great, but if Halo has always been kind of you know people play it for the multiplayer, sometimes the single player could be working great, but then Halo Five. This multiplayer could just be broken. That's a problem. I'm not going to spend $60 on a Halo game for the story as much as I like it. I'm not going to spend it, spend so much money on it, and then have it be broken. So I guess I sh you should take away from this is that 343 needs to make sure Halo 5 works before they send it out the door. While Master Chief Collection had a rough launch, it's better now, and I'm liking it. But what should happen is... 343 should not send that game out the door like they did with Master Chief Collection before they're positive the multiplayer works. And I'm hoping they at least do more bug testing, beta testing, or something to make sure that works. Anyway, I'm Mr. Coolmast. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next Mr. Coolmast Commentates. Peace out.